The weather bomb hit pretty close to home. When you talk about weather bombs in the Maritimes, memories of January 5th, 2018 begin to conjure up. Feeling more tropical out here. Hundreds of thousands were left without power in Nova Scotia, with winds strong enough to send this rum boat crashing to shore in Lunenburg. On the Halifax waterfront, it felt similar to a hurricane in January, but it wasn't. It was bombogenesis. So what's the difference? Storms are measured by their barometric pressure in something called millibars. In order to achieve a bombogenesis or to be considered a weather bomb, we need explosive development. And that depends on how quickly a low can intensify or drop its pressure. And our magic number here is going to be 24. If a low can drop its pressure 24 millibars in 24 hours, then we have ourselves a weather bomb. Now these can occur anywhere across Canada in the Pacific Ocean, even in the Great Lakes. They're often found in the Atlantic Ocean where the necessary ingredients often lie. Now hurricanes gain strength from warm water, which acts like jet fuel and they remain quite compact. As you can see, this road completely devastated. A weather bomb gets its strength from the jet stream and sharp temperature contrasts, which can result in strong winds aloft and storm surges like the one that ripped this road apart in Queensland back in 2018. If there's one coming, it's time to batten down the hatches.